Hi everyone, I'm Vandana Rai from Immigration Advisors New Zealand and I'm making this video today to tell all, all of you about teaching in New Zealand. So I get a lot of questions like uh, I'm an overseas teacher and can I come and teach in New Zealand? Uh, will my qualification be accepted here? Will my overseas teaching experience be accepted here? Uh, do I need a registration to come and teach in New Zealand? And um, I'm here today to answer all of those questions. So you could be a teacher in Dubai, India, Sri Lanka, any, any other overseas country and interested in um, teaching in New Zealand. So what are the options for you and what is the step-by-step -step process for you? Uh, we at Immigration Advisors New Zealand are definitely there to help you out at each each step but uh, you need to have a clarity on is that something that you are really looking at how will that benefit you will you will you reach there so so here it goes so if you if you are a teacher uh, you've done your studies overseas you're working overseas what do you really have to do so the first step for you to be able to teach in new zealand is to have a qualification that New Zealand accepts. So how does that happen? Um, you may be qualified in uh, one of those places, one of those universities and countries which are uh, accepted by the NZQA, that is the New Zealand Qualification Authority, and then you don't need any anything else. So your qualification has a tick there because it's accepted, it's exempt for assessment. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're not lucky enough, then it doesn't mean that your qualification will not be accepted. It's just that you need to follow an additional step. So what is it? You need to get your overseas qualification assessed um, by the New Zealand Qualification Authority. And it has to be a IQA, that is an uh, International Qualification Assessment. So you, are, you have a education qualification, it could be bachelor's, master's, anything. So you submit your qualification documents to NZQA. We'll definitely help you in the process. And if your qualification is considered uh, equivalent to the requirement of New Zealand, definitely you're meeting the requirement. And I would say most of the overseas uh, qualifications um, do get an acceptance. It's just that the level may vary, um, but yes, um, you will not be disappointed when you get the results of the IQA. So fine, you have an overseas qualification and you got it assessed by the, I by the NZQA and it is a yes there. So what is the next step? The next step for you to see is, um, are you proficient enough in English if English is not your first language? So if English is not your first language and you don't meet the other criteria, um, you need to make sure that you are proficient enough. That means you have an ILTS score of seven bands in each module um, uh, or an equivalent um, internationally accepted English test to be able to apply for the registration. So fine, you, your qualification is okay and you're meeting the English language requirement. And the next step would be to submit your application for registration. So Education Council of New Zealand um, certifies, gives registration um, uh, and it's only if you are a registered teacher can you teach in New Zealand. Um, but yes, even on a provisional teaching license, um, you are qualified and you have the license to apply and come and teach in, in New Zealand. Uh, so why, why would somebody who's, who's teaching in their home country ever think of coming and teaching in New Zealand? Apart from all the other benefits, a beautiful country, safe, multicultural and all the other benefits, uh, I would say um, additional things that you you probably could consider is that um, you have an option to move here with your family if you're married uh, or have a partner, children, um, your partner. If you come and work in New Zealand, you get a, a teacher's job and you, you come and teach in New Zealand, apply for a visa, you, you will have few options if I say. Uh, you can either come here on an essential skills work visa if you get a job offer 
or you can even apply for a residence visa straight away from your home home country uh, if you are meeting the other requirements for the residence so probably when we when we get in touch i'll give you more information on that later on but yes uh, one benefit is that you would have an option to move here with your family where your partner can can work your kids can study and you would teach in a beautiful beautiful country uh, and a very safe one too in new zealand so uh, apart from that and i i don't know if you've been following the news here teachers are in extreme shortage in new zealand so any country would offer jobs to overseas uh, qualified people only if they are unable to find enough people skilled enough to take on the job from their own country and that's what is happening in new zealand now uh, we do have a lot of shortage of teachers a lot of shortage of early childhood teachers primary teachers especially and uh, secondary teachers of sciences maths and uh, and it technology so we do have a lot of shortage so it's it's um, it's the reason that i'm making this video so we we spread the information to overseas qualified teachers to <clears throat> to consider new zealand as one of their options apart from that um, new zealand even offers overseas a relocation fund so uh, a, a, a fund of say um, five thousand new zealand dollars to assist the teachers in their relocation process so want the process to be as smooth smooth as possible for you so i would say all the teachers out there if you've been teaching in your home country or any other country apart from new zealand and i uh, have been thinking of teaching in any of the other countries i would say please consider new zealand we at the immigration advisors new zealand are there to help you at each each step whether it is to get your qualification teaching qualification assist whether it is to make sure that you're meeting the english language proficiency and for the registration process as well and then once you have the uh, provisional license or a registration to uh, to teach in new zealand um, there are um, sites then that, that we can uh, recommend and the and as soon as you get a job offer you can immediately apply for an essential skills work visa or a residence visa depending upon the um, the the time duration that you would like to come here in new zealand or depending upon which criteria are you meeting so i would say uh, please get in touch with us and I would um, be happy to offer you the options and help you in your process of relocation uh, to New Zealand to come and teach here. Um, and for all those who, who probably are considering this option but somehow are not meeting uh, any one of those requirements, we are there to help you as well. So there are certain qualifications here in New Zealand which leads to registration. So you can come and study in New Zealand for a year and do a qualification which which leads to teaching registration and as and after those qualifications they probably do a master's program uh, leading to a, a registration and then after you complete that qualification you would also be eligible for three years of post study work visa and then you can work in New Zealand for three years as a teacher and before you know you would be also eligible to apply for a residence visa to continue to stay here in New Zealand if that's what you want and I'm sure um, once you are here in New Zealand you'll probably fall in love with, with the country as many of us have and uh, New Zealand does need a lot of uh, skilled people like you we do need a lot of skilled teachers and that's that's the reason in you know immigration is even um, sorry that's the reason uh, government is assisting and moving ahead even to offer the relocation costs uh, so that the transition could be as smooth as possible so happy uh, to offer our assistance to to all the teachers who are considering um, new zealand as one of their options and please get in touch with us and i can assist you further on that thank you